Well, you know, I always use the example of a friend of mine who has cut, I mean, it's probably changed now. The story is a couple years old, but he had edited lots of half hour, like scripted big name series. And he had also cut like on like co-edited movies for like Sony pictures. And he wow. told me one day that he came back to work. We were working together. He came back to work uh, from a meeting he had had on a one hour series. And they had told him, they're like, yeah, you haven't done a one hour series. And he's like, what? I've done things that are shorter and longer. Also, who cares? But you know, I mean, this is what you're up against, right? Like all of us, we're up against this thing where someone in a hiring position is, has to protect themselves in a situation where their boss says to them, hey, the person you hired failed. This editor didn't do a good job. They had never done a show like this before. Why did you hire them, right? As opposed to like, if you've done one episode of a show like that, then I could say to my boss or whatever, like, well, but they've done one. It's not my fault. And then the boss says, oh, you're right. It's their fault, not your fault. And this is what we're all up against in terms of like trying to turn any corners from anything. And so this Arrested Development story is so bananas because literally in May of that year, I'd been turned down by an MTV show uh, where I'd like met on the show. Like I pulled some strings and found a way to connect to someone and met with a producer. And he's like, you're great. And they wanted to hire me. And then MTV said, no, you can't. Kabir doesn't have the right credits, which is bananas. And then eight weeks later, you know, I had gotten the job on Arrested Development and I'd gotten my first Emmy nomination. And I saw that guy, like the post producer on that show, who was not there, who did, was not there for the bad news part of that story. But I saw him at work and he was freaking out. And I was like, what's going on? And he's like, all of our editors are leaving. Our schedule is fucked. Everyone's going back to their fall shows. And like, I, I, do you know anyone who could help us out? And I was like, oh man, I wish I, I wish I could. And he's like, oh my God, are you kidding? Emmy nominated editor on Arrested Development? They would love to have you. And I was like, right. Eight weeks ago, they were like, they didn't want any part of me. Nothing had changed, right? Except like the headline. You know, I think that's when I realized that all these like proper nouns make all the difference to people. It's the same as like watching agents talk. Like seeing these people at, you know, events at networking events and watched what they do. You know, I, one of my old agents, I like, after I won at the Emmys, I was at some event and I ran into him. I wasn't even there with him. He probably didn't know I was there, but he was like, oh, you're one of our clients. Come. He's like, have you met this executive? I was like, I have not. He's like, come with me. And I walked over there and he's like, hey, so uh, this is Kabir, um, Emmy winner, Arrested Development, director. And I was like, well, each of those things is true, but there's no verbs in that sentence. So these, none of these things go together. Like I didn't win for this. I didn't direct this and I didn't win for, okay. This is, again, this is like the corporate end of the world that we're up against. We're all just trying to advance and ch turn the corner. Like, you know, you definitely need someone behind you pushing, like who believes that you can do it. 